here we are. Day Humpty Dumpty of quarantine, and I've got a couple of things to celebrate. First, finished my first week at the new job. Went really well, quite happy with it. And they seem happy with me, so that's good. Second, we're closing in on the end of my new guilty pleasure, Australian Survivor. I don't know who's going to win. At the moment, I'm kind of hoping Flick. She just in the last week has really started to appeal to me. To celebrate, I have Moondog Keiko, which is Black Forest Stout. Now, I'm not entirely sure if I like Black Forest cake, but let's give it a go. I do like the beer. So I'm cracking that, and oh, 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 it's fizzy. This. Oh, no, that looks, that's looking good. That is a good start to a stout. Oh, ho, 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 yeah. Mate, that's going better than the Guinness. It's very exciting. It tastes like cake. <coughs> I'm going to let that settle. Have some out of the can. That's uh It's quite interesting. That is not what you expect beer to taste like. But it is thick and rich, which is what you want from a stout. So I'm going to say that is a huge nailed it. That is awesome. It's obviously reasonably sweet with the the the, the, the kind of chocolatey black foresty kind of thick whatever flavor it's supposed to be. It does remind me of what I cherry that must be it. That's that weird flavour that I never identify. Cherry. It works. It works really well. I'm really happy with this one. I am glad that I chose it to celebrate my week at work and the end of Australian Survivor. Go Flick! <laughs>